Let's do it. What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome to my laboratory. You get to see some behind the scenes kind of stuff today. Now I know on my headphone channel, a lot of guys have been wanting to see a studio tour. That's not happening today, but I will give you kind of a sneak peek uh, as far as what I'm using in my studio, uh, because lighting is very important. BenQ is definitely one of my favorite companies, if not my favorite company, when it comes to like office lighting and stuff like that. BenQ makes a lot of cool stuff. They're actually the ones that are responsible for this 35 inch curved monitor right here that is just a joy to look at. But since I'm always here looking at this monitor, uh, sometimes the lighting in here overhead is just not enough. And I know I have the BenQ Genie lamp over there, but I like it back there for when I'm back there reading or playing games or something, I like it back there. So what I have here today to show y'all is the BenQ screen bar. This is the original screen bar. There's a screen bar, a screen bar light, which goes on laptops and a screen bar plus, which is something I've actually already reviewed. This is the OG screen bar and I love this one. The screen bar plus is great. My son is actually using it in college right now. So I have the screen bar right here, the OG version, and it's just awesome. I mean, you don't really think about how important lighting really is until you actually get some light. Have you ever been sitting in a like a dim room trying to do something and you know, you're just going about your day, then somebody comes in and they just flick on the lights and you're like, oh my God, that was so much better. How come I didn't think of that? Well, BenQ is that company. So this bad boy is basically a plug and play device. You just snap it together real quick, plug it into the back of your monitor or computer, wherever you wanna plug it. It just plugs via USB into the back of a monitor or your PC and voila, you have light. But you don't just have light, you have various hues of light. So if I just touch up here, you'll see I can change the brightness. It's all the way up now, so if I tap it again and hold it, it'll cycle all the way down to its dimmest position, and then I can touch it again, and then it'll toggle all the way back up to its brightest position. But what if I don't want this cool light that makes you feel like you're in a laboratory or some type of uh, surgical area? What if I want something a little bit more warm? So what I'll do is I'll just hold this, it'll cycle through all the way down to a nice, warm like 35 or 3700k or something like that but if you want that surgical lighting all you got to do is tap it and hold it again it'll cycle all the way up to a nice cool temperature again but it doesn't stop there because BenQ is a smart company and sometimes you just don't want to think for yourself so they do have an ambient light sensor here so once you tap this automatic setting right here you just tap it the green light comes on it kind of flashes and then it adjusts to what it thinks the lighting should be for you i haven't had any problems with it because it just knows what i want so the way it works is there's a light sensor up here it just kind of monitors the light and it just self-adjusts as you go throughout the day. So the automatic setting is actually where I like to leave it. And when you turn it off or when you turn off your PC and the light goes off, it actually remembers the last setting you had it on. So you don't have to worry about fiddling with this thing too much. Personally, I leave it on automatic. I leave it plugged into my monitor. When my monitor turns on, the light is good to go. Uh, I thought I had good lighting up here until I plugged this in and I was like, Wow, so I said it in other videos, I'm pretty sure that BenQ cares more about my eyes than I actually do, and they keep proving it to me with every product they send over this way because I'm really enjoying the screen bar. It's just one of those things that once you have it, you have a hard time understanding how you did life without it in the first place. Either way, I ain't no expert in lighting or nothing like that. I'm just glad I got my situation under control. You do what you wanna do. Enough about this light though. Let's talk about my social media accounts. Yeah, man, dig in the links and follow me on Instagram. Maybe we'll hang out, maybe we won't. I guess we'll have to see. But either way, if you had a good time checking out this video, make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comments section and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where you going? No, 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 sit back down. We gotta talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right then, hit the subscribe button. There you go, reach down there, there you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You gotta come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right, I knew you would. All right, man, I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?